All right, bang, bang. Welcome to the Dave Portnoy Show with Eddie and Company, presented by Taser. Dave, we love Taser. Yeah. You can uh, shock people with it. Good. They got the strike light. They got, uh, yeah, you know that? That's like the the one Kevin Nash hit Goldberg with. Remember that? Vaguely, not really. Not sort a big of. WCW guy. No, I, I was in when like Hollywood Hogan and all that shit. Yeah. Wolfpack, mm-hmm. NWO for life. Yeah, so that's rechargeable. It's high power. They got a flashlight on there that can repel an attacker through its electric stun feature. It literally combines a flashlight and a stun gun. Why would you have a flashlight without this feature, Dave? I, you know, I just want a coffee. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm low energy, and the fact that we don't have, can't get, like, there's not a. St- I'd like to tase people in this, like, is the Starbucks in this hotel just not open now or like it's never open? I haven't even seen it. Where's it at? Is it? It says Starbucks everywhere, right? Closed permanent. Oh, like, so it's not here. Got it. Okay. There was a coffee that's been sitting there for a couple of days in the fridge downstairs. I have a couple downstairs. Spider got, but I drank it all. So, anyways. How many coffees you deep right now? Like one and a half. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like you're still dragging? Yeah, just, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, coffee or Taser. Taser Plus is the same personal defense device used by law enforcement. It shoots out two darts, delivers electricity, and incapacitates someone for 30 seconds at a time. Where can people get it, Dave? Go to taser.com. Use promo code Barstool. 15% off. Limited number of states require a permit for use. Taser cause products cannot be purchased for person in use in Hawaii, Rhode Island. There we go. All right. Crazy week. Let's start in reverse. Super Bowl yesterday. Super Bowl contest. Um, the contest as a whole. We started in the second half. Uh, your thoughts about how it went and, uh, you know, making the best of it, I guess. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, obviously, Rico won. He didn't do much. He just bet, like, first down plays, basically. He's like, oh, they'll get a first. I think drive markets. I also don't know why Camby didn't have better markets for us. Um, they He was just betting, like, Tampa will get a first down on the first drive in Kansas City and – just basically lost a little but won because everyone else lost it was okay i thought i thought it was okay yeah i mean it was i mean just from me being in it it was elio hit that big bet it's, first to 30 and then everyone panicked he yes. hit that for 5k and me and whitney and i don't, I don't know what frank was doing but me and whitney were like All right, we gotta- i i frank i said the entire time didn't really understand what was going on like that he was even in a contest and he seemed to follow through and somebody who wasn't totally attached to reality him I, I i tweeted this earlier i it's an absolute shame that there's no video of him initially i know there's video throughout the contest of him initially putting his uh pop into the uh your cup holder because your face it was like when you saw the guy dragging the wagon with no arms in miami well i just thought it was gonna spill on me <laughs> he had the coke like literally filled to the brim he crushes diet cokes he put it in my cup holder and i just thought it was gonna spill on and he, he put it down pretty fast like it yeah. was like he didn't gently and it was filled to the brim and it was yeah. and you just looked at it like like how's the tank getting home i don't think we know that yet is there an update first class. oh first, first class, class ticket there good. you go all right because there was words earlier in the week that he was gonna have to someone's gonna have to drive him or he was gonna take a 20 hour yeah. train <laughs> But it was. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't have to take a twenty-hour train. I don't know why we would make Tank do that, but he likes pictures, though. He There's, does like that. That's a good point. He may like that. That he may be one of those guys. Not you say that that would like appreciate a nice cross-country train trip. Yeah, he, I think so. Um, but it was. I mean, it was. It was great having him here this weekend in general. Like we would just walk out and we just see. Oh, there's Tank walking around the casino room floor. He's in his own world. Yeah, uh, hot dog hat. Just you know, betting, uh, watching blackjack games. Um, Besides that, you know, Rico, I mean, congratulations to him. It was There was an element of strategy because we were all on the other side. We were screaming our bets. I didn't hear him say anything. So yeah. no one really knew where he was. So, I mean, I, I he didn't pull a fast one because he did. No one said anything to him. He was strategic. He was smart. But I no one knew what he had. And everyone else, I think, was pretty he, above board. He, 
he may have been very close to even getting the right number of bets in if I didn't be like, you got to get your 7,000 in. Yeah, he, he was betting. He wouldn't have. If someone won, he would have lost. He played the uh, everyone's going to lose card. And it like it looked like Elio was going to win because it did seem like Tampa Bay would score again once they got past midfield on that drive and didn't get any points. It was done. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, I took my big thing was Chiefs over a touchdown and a half in the second. They but then he all. started hedging so, against it. So. I know it was. So it was. Yeah. He played it right. He played it right. I don't know. I have no, like looking back. You just don't know how those are going to go. Right. Because we never did it. And I just, you know, I panicked when he hit five grand and then he had. And it, at that point, they had 28. It's like, oh, they're definitely getting 30. Right. You kidding well, me? Well, they got 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely getting 35. Sorry. Yeah, right. It's like, there's no way they're not getting 35. Yeah, it was a little over a quarter left. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What would you think of the game in general? It's one of the worst Super Bowls ever. That was bad. Just a total domination. Chiefs. I mean, it looks like they were crowned a dynasty in Mahomes and all this stuff. I mean, they it, that, that was a demolition. That was one of the worst Super Bowls in recent memory. Just well, total domination. Mahomes was just under fire. It's yeah, like yeah, everybody. he was. I mean, that listen, they did it to Aaron Rodgers too. Yeah. I mean, they they it's their defense all of a sudden became the eighty five Bears. Yeah, and you were uh, you had a press conference. You had a lot of tweets. Yeah, I am week. sad. It's like I'm not watching anything. I hate. I don't know. I'm I'm I. It's tough. A little bit sad. I'm. At, it's exactly what I said. I'm happy for Brady, but it feels like it should still be the Patriots and Tampa Bay, like celebrating and all that shit. It's tough. What do you think Bill thinks? Uh, I'm sure it. It. He's like, oh shit, puts a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, for sure. I, I like to be in this position after how well, because you know, they've been for 20 years, but. And I'm still a Belichick guy, and I think Belichick will win another Super Bowl with the Patriots. But it certainly, certainly, certainly has skewed the the uh, the yeah hands of justice or the the remembrance towards Brady more than Belichick. Like Brady Belichick, Brady Belichick. It's clearly you can't not say Brady right now. Yeah, I mean to do it somewhere else the first year is I fucking know. crazy. Yeah. Crazy, and we everyone said the whole time, you know, Gronk, Fournette, you know, it's like, oh, those super teams they're never loaded. fucking work. Yeah, the but, Bucks are loaded. But like we said before, like and like everyone says, you know, those those teams usually typically never work, but it worked. Yeah, their defense came around, but it, my thing is like, well, why couldn't the Patriots have built a team, just kept the team? I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, like the Patriots weren't going to win with their team with those two. They needed. They, they needed to rebuild the team. The Patriots team wasn't good enough. That was like uh, someone ripped the watch off you after the campy kicked you in the nuts. Huh? That was like someone ripped your watch off while you were laying there after Camby kicked you in the nuts, you know? that was A little in your, insult yeah. injury. It was. Insult yeah. injury. Are you happy for Stephen Che? No. Not at all? No. Big Bucks fan? No. Wear shoulder pads on the train? Yeah. No. No. All right. Jackson Mahomes, you think uh, where where you at with him? What's with the BFFs? Like he, I don't think we get along. No, no, I, I, he. I mean, I made that TikTok, but no, I wouldn't say I'm friendly with Jackson Mahomes. All right, that was yeah, I, I, that, that was a funny TikTok. And I, well, you, I'm a, yeah, I well, he they love to gloat. He and the girl there, they love to like celebrate and dance on people's graves. So it was nice to see. And I like, I, I have no problem with um, Patrick. I think Patrick Mahomes, pretty likable guy. His brother, who I used to think I liked, I now despise. Well, I don't care for. But he hasn't said anything. And, and listen, if Jackson Mahomes, if you're going to, you know, walk the walk, you got to talk the talk. So a lot of people probably are waiting for that. Not just me, but like he's just one of the all time gloat guys. Yeah. That's fair. All right. Reverse it to Friday. Rough and rowdy, West Virginia. Jose Canseco. Did he take a dive or did he not take a dive? Gun to head, I'm saying he was not anticipating taking a dive. But when Billy jumped on him like a spider monkey, he's like, I, I want no part of this and took a dive. But I don't think he anticipated doing it. I don't think his pre fights are going to be on the floor in three seconds. Um, but he just won no part of it. You know, fight, fight games, a, a scary game and your courage is shown and he has none. Like he would, he didn't want to go to out on his sword. 
Not, and, and he just fell down and decided not to get up. Now, granted, I said along, I said from the jump, I thought Billy Football would win. He's so much younger. Jose couldn't get through the ropes. Like he, he was stuck getting in the ropes. He couldn't do it. Looks so stiff. He made a shit ton. And I said during the fight, it's like I feel bad for him. It's like he's he's a this guy was like a forty forty guy, you know, at at the height of his powers at one point. Um, well, they were and people were confused why you felt bad for him. You felt bad for him beforehand when he was getting clowned on Twitter just for the fact that he was, like you said we were forty forty guy. We talked about it at the show. So you felt bad that he was like, he, I can't believe he's like doing this. Is no, what he's I'm down really. to. I didn't feel bad as much then. But you, you did to a degree. We talked about it. I, I, it's just, it, it's anybody. He, he was just so low sitting there like with that face and tank top. To be like just a punching bag for the internet when you've been that high. I, yeah. Desperate to like needs money clearly so yeah i felt bad i like a tragic figure not that again he's not some human he's not gandhi so i didn't but in that moment it's like oh what a pathetic you know i just really feel sad a little bit but then i found out i made a million bucks and the sadness went away pretty quick so how did that happen what was his deal structure so I, I tweeted, it's fi- he got 50 grand guaranteed to fight, 50 grand if he won. And then we said a number. We're like, hey, if we get above like 50,000 pay-per-views, that's the most I think we've ever done, you'll get 50% of everything beyond that, which I think is a fair deal. And I would do that deal in a heartbeat again because we've done enough rough and rounds. We don't get more than that. So he sold the shit out of the fight. We got like 150,000 pay-per-views. He gets half of that. We get half of that. So he made a million dollars. Did you know at the time there were so many buys? Like, are you getting updates yes. on your phone? So you're like, holy fuck, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a big. And then when you see him go down like that 20 seconds in, are you like, fuck? It, no. I hadn't put it all together. Yeah. Everything happened so fast. And, and everyone, it, listen, that's the fight game as for better or for worse. You never know. What it is. Pro fighters who fucking Roberto Duran doesn't come out of his corner. Tyson you know, Galata, we he, talked about Yeah, it. it's like that's the fight game. That's yeah. the fight game because nobody knows what somebody's going to do in the ring. So, um, yeah, it, it, but he, he definitely, I don't know if threw the fight, took a dive. He didn't have the courage to fight. I thought he was overwhelmed. That's what he Billy overwhelmed him. He came so hot out of the gate and he was just like, fuck this. Yeah, right. And, That's I, a, don't, and I don't know if it's not even I don't think it's like it all happens so fast. That's why I'm not sure it's like a conscious thing. He's just like, I'm not. This is I'm out. Yeah. Uh, I don't have some people have that it factor it, it, fighters that they'll fight to the death. And they'll do a Vander Holyfield guys like that. Like, obviously that's real fighting, but you know, he's a guy you're going to have to kill him to get him to stop fighting. Jose is not one of those people. Yeah. And obviously it's hard to tell how much his shoulder did hurt. I mean, he was holding it and he was wincing in his post game fight press count, but I don't know. We have guys like that in rough around who fight and they get their ass kicked and they still keep fighting. It's like, Oh, this guy's fucking tough as nails. Jose, not one of those guys. Yeah. He wasn't there for so. Kind of is what it is, but I assume that kind of takes him out again. We would not have him fight again. Is that a real question? Well. No. Jose he not. sold buys or buys, Dave. I mean, he sold. You, you think people would pay to watch him fight again? I don't know. I, I do not think so. I, I, if you put him against Jose right wants opponent. no money up front and, uh, like, on an undercard maybe, I like, where – he gets one. I no one's gonna buy it to watch Jose fight. What uh is it gonna be the strategy from here on out though? Like a washed athlete. CT. Well, that's why I tweeted out the numbers. Yeah. That because I figure washed athlete, whoever, if someone knows or believes that they can sell pay per views and make a million dollars for three minutes of fighting, three one minute rounds, I who wouldn't that's a shit ton of money for three minutes of work. So that's why I tweet out to let people know, hey, you can make real money doing this. Got to get CT. Do you think he'd sell tickets? I think so. I mean, he transcends. He's been he's been on TV for like thirty years now, twenty five yeah. years. He transcends so many generations that, like, I think I don't know. Would be I, yeah, I don't know. Or some dude from The Bachelor or something like that. That'd be yeah, that'd that, be great. Yeah. Um, all right, then obviously before that, Thursday, Tommy wins surviving Barstool. Did you see the finale? No. No? No uh no no other thoughts on it besides that, I guess. 
I mean, I know there's like back and forth on a bunch of shit, but uh, I don't, I, I don't watch it. I mean, Tommy, what he lied, cheated, stole, whatever. He played Survivor, and he's the only one who knew it. Why is everyone walking around? What's going We're on? about to pull up some stuff here because the office. Obviously, you've been in Detroit. I've been here too, and I guess the office is starting to crack a little bit. Crack? Yeah, like there was a lot of there was a lot of tensions were high after Tommy because won. Because of Survivor? Yeah, people thought Nick should have won. It looked like Tommy got into it with Casey a little bit. There's Spider with your coffee. That's nice. That'll that'll get you going a little bit here. Um, so yeah, he's got your. I'll get the coffee first. Now, can Again? I hold the coffee this way? With my hands twisted. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Get enough. For, uh... <laughs> My guy brings me 18 coffees. <laughs> Thank you, Spider. Um, okay, so yeah, so Tommy and Casey kind of going at it here. Casey tweeted, it's Nick and it shouldn't be close. Tommy quote tweets, someone who has zero idea about the game and will go wherever the wind blows if she thinks it'll make people like her. Casey responds, Jesus, Tommy, we've had a rivalry in quotes. Since you were on the college football show, I didn't know we had real beef. I guess we do now. Tommy responds, it's now... Quotes, real beef. You made it that way last night. That was not a pretend rivalry in quotes, which is totally fine. I'm not crying about it, but I have the right to defend myself and the game I played. Casey responds, there was a ton of office, ton of the office rooting against you in a game show in parentheses, and you took a personal shot at only me. Interesting how that works. Tommy throws up the shrug. Mean. Is that a rivalry you knew that was existent? In existence, I should say. Tommy and Casey? Yeah. I guess it's like a Division 8 small school rivalry. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Did you know that was a rivalry? No, I didn't. That's why I saw it. I was like, oh, this is interesting. College football better, show rivalry. Better, not even, what? Better bring it up. So what was Tommy in the college football show? Do you remember that? Year one? I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. And then there was a, a, a radio clip here we could play. I mean, okay. Brandon like Walker. Right. Brandon Walker and Trista. So if you're watching YouTube. Is that a Calvin Klein sweatshirt on KB? If you guys want to just well, they're both pull pressed. that back from the top. We're both pressed. We they played some songs. They He songs. made some things. I wouldn't things. call it songs. We played something. It was. Brandon, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You Brand, shut the fuck you two up. Both, the thing that is so crazy about you two is that you, you... You will come over there. You will come over there on Monday and sit there long enough to get some attention and try to get him to do your logo and try to get somebody to give you some help. Guys, And then you guys, just, you just fuck somebody. No, I do that out of the kindness of my heart. Wait, I fuck somebody? You just... You, you fucked Nick last night out of $10,000. I did not. You absolutely did. You you seem more upset than he I is. I am more upset than he is. I'm way more upset than he is because I know what happens behind the scenes. I know how a lot of people here don't like you, and this guy is giving you everything, and no, you just guys, fuck this. This does all, not matter. Guys. This is but Brandon likes Tommy too. I like Tommy too. <laughs> Brandon, first of all, you fucked him out of ten thousand dollars. I did not. I second, second, <laughs> second of all, Brandon, uh, Brandon, you don't even know that Nick told me he was supposed to have me in at Jenga and possibly fucked me out of ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I was. I was going to take you in Jenga, and then how am I going to cut Frank? They would uh, look at the viewership with Frank. Yeah, but it was very snaky. The way that it all went down was very snaky, and I never forget. We're right, even. We gotta, I would have won that ten cheese. We got to get back. We yeah, got to get back to yeah. No, no, you got. We got to get back to yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna go. Fiery. That was fiery. Yeah, there were a couple shut the fuck ups, back to back. I didn't think that was that fiery. No, I didn't think that was that fiery. It was nothing. No, that was nothing. All right, I thought it was. You uh, thought that was something? Well, I thought I thought the shut the fuck up said uh, the, the the tone was. Uh, that was that was boring. Tone that was, was strong. Um, all right, so no other uh, surviving barstools weren't really into good show, but weren't. yeah, if Tommy deserved to win. Of course he did. I thought so too. I think the big thing was is like if you watched Survivor before, you kind of got the gist of like what he was doing. And if you didn't, you were like, oh, he was just being a scumbag. I was like, no, you're supposed to be. Who the hell hasn't watched Survivor a little bit? It's a been on for a hundred years. Apparently a lot of people. Of course Tommy deserved to win. Yeah, so I don't know. Apparently a lot of people. Now, uh, what Trista did, like, if she's saying I didn't vote for Nick because Nick didn't put, pick me in Jenga, that's like a shit reason. You're not. Someone's at the door. Is that ours? No. Oh, it is ours. Oh, maintenance. I don't think it's for us. 
Congrats to Tommy. Um, let's talk about Manscaped, Dave. We're in the thick of winter and the storms are brewing. It looks like one to three inches are in the forecast. When you Is that tr- for real? Yeah. No. When you trim that hibernation bush <laughs> that's taking place in your pants. Luckily, our partners at Manscaped specialize in products to make sure you're walking around town with beautiful snowballs. Manscaped's here to provide you with the best tools for your grooming service experience, offering precisions precision engineered tools for your family jewels obviously everyone's had their shaving their balls moments manscaped i'm telling you it's the best way to go I, i've had people reach out to me and be like dude you're not kidding manscaped is legit uh the lawnmower 3.0 trimmer is the best hygiene tool for modern man because of their ceramic blade and advanced skin safe technology your snags on your snowballs will be reduced. The trimmer is also waterproof, so you can trim in the shower or jacuzzi if you're a savage. Manscaped Performance Package is the best buy of 2021. The Performance Package comes with new and improved lawnmower 3.0, the Weed Whacker, Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag. Have you ever noticed how nasty nose and ear hair is? In fact, 79% of partners polled admitted that nose hair is a major turnoff. Just had a hand cramp. I carry the the manscaper in my travel bag, and I I do it for my nose and my ear. Now, do I I use the same device for both? That sometimes I wonder if that's gross, but I do it. Oh, you go balls to nose? No, I don't do balls. I do nose ear together. Oh, no, I mean I don't think so. Right? It was all coming from the same place, the inside well, of yeah. my head. I mean, if you smelled your earwax, you would. If I smelled my earwax? Yeah, like if you picked in your ear and you smelled it, like you would, that would be weird. Well, you don't think so? No, I absolutely think yeah, so. Yeah, so I just, like if you're going ear to nose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I don't smell it. But if it's in your nose, you're... But that doesn't get earwax. Smell something. I don't get earwax. No, I know, but like there's, 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 there's shit all around ears. Come on. Whatever, regardless. If everything comes from you. Correct. And you can give it a wipe. So like you said, use it 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code Portnoy. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code Portnoy. Thanks, Manscaped, for making our winter wieners look so good. I, they got great ad reads. They know what they're doing. Yeah, no, they're smart. They're those those people in Manscaped, they, they know what they're doing. Well, yeah. And, they and know they, what they're doing, Eddie. They do. And they're good. They're legitimately good. All right. My glasses fell off. All right. We're not doing. We're not. We hanging in there. We're doing all right. We got the coffee. Yeah. I have to step it up to something a little more potent. The show. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Adderall. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, YP is no longer on the bloggers page. Yeah, he he resigned. He resigned. I never talked to him. Eric, so Erica told me he resigned. Uh, it, so, so my guess on what was going through his head is as good as your guess because I never talked to him. Um, but my guess would be he came back to the office. He thought it would be, oh, we make fun of YP and like, Hey, YP, you idiot. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. And I think he may have realized that all goodwill, as I had said, had been burned he had an opportunity to remain employed, but he was starting at in, in the basement and maybe below the basement. He was going to be a garbage boy um, treated like somebody brand new with no less worse because no goodwill. Uh, and when he realized and we were replacing outdoors with new people or trying to. And when he realized all of that, he's like, OK, uh, this isn't I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back to the beginning. And he's like, I'm out of here. That's my guess. Man, I mean, coming from Black Friday, that's quite the turn of events. So what's that, two months? Yeah, December, I mean, even before January. Black Friday, I wasn't yeah. happy with him. Uh, it's more so the turnaround of him being such like a Team Portnoy guy. And I, this is my dream to just fuck something up. And who knows? I've seen plenty of rumors like, on, and I have no idea. He never said what was going on in his private life. Never. We heard like one thing from him in however long he was off the radar. Like I heard more from him in that video when he's like, you're a coward. And that actually didn't even, like that wasn't 
shows, I guess, like me, like I didn't care like when he did that, but when he never did anything after that and just went dark again, it's like, all right, this, you know, I hope everything's all right. I have no ill will towards him. If he called me up and asked me to do a favor, I would not, but it's like, he's not rooting against him. I, I don't hope he like fails in the rest of his life, but, uh, no matter, no, it doesn't matter what was going on with him on the side, which I have no idea what it is. You got to tell the company you work for what's going on and keep them abreast of the situation when she just didn't. He just went radio silent. So isn't uh, nobody to blame but himself. I hope whatever is going on is taken care of and he gets back on his feet, but he will never work with us again. Man, man, Team Porter, that was. Uh... Yeah. I don't know. Um, also, he's not the only one to be leaving. Your guy, Kevin. Kevin also Bonner. Um, short time here. I don't know how long he was here. I think less than a year. And, well, yeah, definitely less than a year. Well. Corona. He yeah, he started right about Corona. So mm-hmm. all, it, never in the flow uh, of anything, really, with me. Because like he was hired to be my right-hand man, my assistant. Corona hit. He was helpful during that. Um I don't I don't know what he said when he left because my phone wasn't getting messages. So I found out like last that he left. Like Paul Gaz called me like you need help. I'm like why? He's like Kevin's gone. I'm like what? Um but there were messages that just weren't getting. So I never saw his resignation letter. Not overly surprising to me. I don't think we ever totally clicked. Um no animosity. If he called me for a favor, I would do it. Uh but yeah, it doesn't surprise my and again, this may be an unfair so he was Brady's guy before my guy. Mm-hmm. He's very good, almost too good when you're out in public and people are asking for pictures and he's like very good. Like, nope, no time. He he'll he'll be the guy who like is the bad guy in those situations or whatever. I don't I'm not I don't like that almost like I, I can handle myself in those situations and I take pictures and I don't like security and like I don't need people micromanaging me when I'm out and about. I'm just a unique role. I don't know that there's any role quite like my right hand man has to be. Frankie was great at it. It's like I expect you to do mundane things and then not mundane things. I expect you to like be super proactive, organized. It's a very hard position to fill. It's a very hard position to fill. Like I, the, my biggest thing with him, I got mad at him when he was like, "How he filmed my pizza reviews." <laughs> I didn't like like the angle. Like that's a he crazy the chest, right? Or, yeah, yeah, like that's a crazy thing. But like that made it. That was almost the beginning of the end because it's like, all right, there's no point for you to travel with me because you don't know how to film me. And and then we started just getting disconnected. Now I don't know if he got a different job or what happened, but. Yeah, I wish him well. So, puts you back at square one, even though yeah. in some yeah. aspects, Frankie was still around, but you still yeah. a guy again. Yeah, no, it, it sucks. And his last day is Friday, uh, so I got to figure it out. Are you going to even get a guy? Like, isn't there an element here where you could use, like, Gaz or maybe Spider? Well, I can't use Gaz because Gaz guilts me whenever I ask him to do anything. Like, he'll be like, hey, you need help in Miami? Let me come with you in Miami. And I was like, hey, guys, I got to go do this video. He's like, oh, I'm talking to girls. Like, I'm t- I got to get my tan. <laughs> like, so I f- he guilts me into, like, when I ask him to do something, he literally will shrug his shoulders. Like, I can't believe you're asking me to do this. <laughs> it's like, that's isn't that why you came? So I he can't be it. And whatever, he's earned that. He's been here for, like, two decades. The combo, and I haven't talked to it, and I don't know would be a Kareem Spider mismatch. You got to be willing to do it. Like we've had people not. You got to be able to be like if I yell at you, although I don't really yell at Spider anymore. Spider is disorganized. In what in what fashion? Like what's something that? Very good with this. Spider knows now like my things and he does everything, but like when I you when Spider was my guy last time the parts he was dropping were 
like, hey, I have like th- four ad reads. Like, what do I have to do? Do you have all? And that stuff wasn't being done to a level of like, I need it. Like, I need someone who reminds me, hey, you have this. Remi-, and like 10 times. Mm-hmm. Like, this is coming up. Um, Kareem is good at social. So like Kevin, what Kevin was very good at was scheduling my social, like DDTG clips, getting them out. Then if I'm on at night, getting those out, uh, BFFs, getting those out, getting Dave Portnoy show clip. Like what, as I'm reading this stuff off, there's a lot that goes into making sure my social is updated, on point, the best stuff, and it's a lot of stuff. And we have a lot of resources to use for it, but it's a lot of stuff gotta get spider in a better spot spider spider could be is very much like my i'm i'm a hundred percent comfortable with spider yeah that's a big thing i never was that with kevin Uh uh-huh like i'm a hundred percent comfortable with spider say anything spider yell at spider do whatever spider hundred percent comfortable with him and he'd become part of content which is what he wants so if he's filmed the pizza view I, the thing I don't have with Spider is the trust, like, everything is going to get out that needs to get out. Kevin was very good at that. So are you in a shitty spot in the interim right now? Like, are you like, oh, fuck, like, I need, what are you going to do Monday? No, I'm not in this. Figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure. I mean, I still have Austin and TiVo, and Austin is very good. Mm-hmm. He's just so fucking weird. Would you want that role, Kareem? Yeah. Spider? I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah, I can't hear him, right? He when he's talking. Yeah. yeah, he said, yeah. He would. He's very good at, yeah. If Austin wasn't so fucking weird. Yeah. But uh, this is going to sound crazy, and, and Austin will hear this, and he's so weird, he's going to be, he'll, he'll write in his notebook, like, to do is be less weird. <laughs> like, you, like, that's how he is. Yeah. Like, I've been on pizza views, and he'll do something weird, and he'll just mutter to himself, like, Tim is, why do I have to be so weird? So like I'm right there. You're making it so much more weird. <laughs> <laughs> like we've honestly had that. He's just a weird guy. I can't be like I'm so fucking busy. I can't be around somebody that gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, we'll, but he's see. good. Like yeah. Austin's a place, a role in this team. But I, I have to just be like, I always, I can't be like, oh, I don't, I don't want to go do this pizza review because Austin makes me fucking weird. Yeah, so you need something else. I don't know. We, we got to figure out Spider. We got to get him in. I don't know. Uh, you were taking a beating also for paper hands all week. A beating. Those people are, are, I think it's funny, crypto, and crypto's up to like nine gazillion today, but it's, and pens down like a gazillion. Um, yeah, I don't, those people are full of shit. It's like I lost a shit ton of money. I went in at the absolute high, sold at the absolute worth. It's still getting killed. The people who are saying they still have it, 99.9% of them do not have it. Or they have one share. They have one fucking share. There's nobody holding to what I had and just watching millions go away. So fuck them. I don't care. No way. I think it's funny, though. Has it died down a little bit? A little bit, slightly. People were fucking... I mean, it was constant. Yeah, I think it's funny, though. I oh, had to yeah. Bother. Yeah, that, listen, I've, they did the same thing with crypto. I, I've I, Paper hands, diamond hands, that's that's the social game. I'm fine with it. Was it as bad of a beat as uh, the iCasino we take, we took this week? iCasino is tough to win at. <laughs> it's very tough. I mean... We'll do right here. You want to do live? We're sitting here. <laughs> we'll do a couple live hands here. Live hands. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Well, what is 1246. 1246. How many we, how many we doing? We're, we're, we'll just play it straight here, Eddie. Uh, I got 158,000 in my account. All right. Go into it. Do we play to 100 or 200? How fast do you think we get there? It's, it's fast. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we get to... Hopefully we get to 200, right, Kareem? <laughs> let's see. Let's let's play. This is... Here, does someone want to film, film the back of my phone? Yeah, narrate it. So this is... this is it, it's. I've had very bad luck with playing 5,000. We'll do this as for content. We, we tape in here. Balance 158. Here we go. We're dealing 5, 
10, verse 9, double, 15, 11, 16, bust. Dealer bust? 10 grand winner. There you go. Huh. Are you doing 10 grand a hand? No, but I doubled. Doubled. I got 20 versus Jack, stand, 14. Let's quit. They got 21. They got 21. All That's right. why that, 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 they, they, they've been so hot. That was ridiculous. Fa- yeah. Like you, you. That was fucking. Get back to the show. <laughs> we, back to the show. Yeah. I mean, talk about gamble responsibly. Like, that was responsible. I, I know. Won five grand shut off. And, like, on a very serious note, like, please play the I Casino and online blackjack responsibly. Yeah, but play it a lot. Yes. <laughs> um, Deion Sanders, hard knocks situation. Like, I don't know. We don't want to say hard knocks, but it's going to be like a behind the scenes type right. deal. What's uh, I saw Dana B's down there. You know anything else about it? Or is it just kind of, is it throughout the whole year? I don't know anything. Yeah. That's good though. It seems like Dion's going to kind of stick around. I don't know. What is this? What happened? Dave got a text. He paused. Somebody it's, it's, I have T it's that, that sent via submission from D Moxo. It's this, that, that like, yeah. Oh. Subject Dave Portnoy message. Dave Portnoy pays for submissions to your site. Is that true? Fuck no. The <laughs> response is not true. If it were, then we wouldn't get so much bad shit about him that we can't post. <laughs> Kids show. What does that fucking mean? <laughs> they actually said that. I don't know what that means. Bad shit about. Him. Yeah. What can there be bad shit? We already talk. I sling dick pics. Is that the bad shit? <laughs> The dog shots. Everything they do. They, I've talked to them before because they they reached out. And they're like, why'd you say something was fake? Or why'd you post this? I'm like, well, everything you do is fake. They're like, we can't post the real ones. Like, how do you know what's real and what's not? Unless it's just me, like, fucking. <laughs> Could be. And then uh, last, before we do listener emails, Pedroia retired. Are you still, where, where are we at with Pedroia? I know he did the rundown in Arizona. I love Pedroia. Yeah. All of Fame Red Sox player, love him. Is he still like kind of a? I haven't talked to him forever, but I love Pedro. Yeah, I mean that's like yeah, he was one of those guys that were in the prime when Barstool was really. Yeah, getting, no, I love him, love him. Getting He's cooking cr- all time, like fucking Red Sox. I love him. All right, let's talk about Viore Day. Vioria, you love the uh, joggers, right? They, I do. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, you wore them. I think we played some blackjack. You said it had like a nice uh, performance appeal, but it was comfortable. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're great blackjack pants. It was nice. Yeah, they're a new perspective. I Remember that time in blackjack when I had 20 and they were showing four and I got 21? Yeah. That just happened. That just happened. You're right. So new perspective on performance apparel. Perfect if you're sick and tired of traditional old workout gear. Everything is designed to work out in, but doesn't look or feel like it. It's so freaking comfortable. You will want to wear it all the time. Like Dave said, he wore it when he played blackjack the other night. Uh, the product is incredibly versatile. It can be used for just about any activity like running, training, yoga, but also great for lounging uh, or weekend errands. Uh, it's designed to look great in everyday life, and uh, it's perfect, like we said, for any workout or activity. Viore is an investment in your happiness for our listeners. They are offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at vioreclothing.com slash Dave. That's V-U-O-R-I clothing.com slash Dave. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 and free returns. Go to vioriclothing.com slash Dave and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Go do it, Viore. Great uh, great stuff over there. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right. Listener emails, Dave. Yep. If you want to get your email in, send it to Dave Portnoy Show at barstoolsports.com. This one's from Travis. Who is your most famous Eskimo bro? Have you thought? Hmm. My most famous Eskimo, bro. I mean, I, I'm i sure there's more, but Edelman? You and Edelman, had, you know. I, I mean, girls run in packs, so I'm sure there's, like, more. Uh, but probably I would say that, yeah. That's, like, the one you know about for sure. I'm sure Diplo's had to fuck somebody that fucked. <laughs> Diplo fucks everybody. <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> That's just like a thing everyone knows. He's I just, mean, Diplo uh, just fucks. He says he fucks. <laughs> uh, Noah? Who? Noah? 
Syndergaard? No, Edelman's more famous than he is, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, I mean, NFL. I'll be in. Edelman's a champion winner. Super Bowl winner, I should say. I There's so many that I probably don't know. But, like, if you had to guess, if I had to guess, like, did have as, as like, Logan Paul fuck somebody I fucked, I'd be like, yeah, probably. Yeah. So you just don't, you know, the ones you know, you would say Edelman. And probably, most likely, Diplo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Diplo. Uh, Diplo so, just fucks. Are you buddies with him? I wouldn't say buddies. We're acquaintances. No. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when you, is he, like, in the Miami scene when you go down there? He's just everywhere. Every like every single girl that I follow, like follows Diplo. Oh, did you hear? I told you who my latest follows were. You know, you're not gonna bring that up and give me some shine. Well, yeah, it was Jose can oh, Josie Canseco followed by Bella Hadid. That's a that's two big follows. Huge. So what's the, what's the play there? Are you gonna? I I haven't done anything. I followed them both back. But that's where we're at. We're we're debating the uh, the DM or we're. Just gonna play it cool or what? Yeah, what do you? Well, I, mean, I don't think you can slide into Bella Hadid's no. DMs. There's probably a lot. But she did follow me first. Yeah, so you probably could. You probably could. Um, be interested to find out if anyone reaches out about a an Eskimo brother between now and next episode. So we'll see. I have, I'm sure, quite a few Eskimo brothers. <laughs> I'm sure too. Uh, one's from Michael. Who do you think the nicest person in the office is? This person says Trent. Oh yeah. Trent. Nice guy, Trent. That's what I call him. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Trent. <laughs> I mean, nice. Guy. <laughs> yeah. Trent is no other runner up. Spider's nice. Very nice guy. I'm trying to think. I mean, Trent is super nice. Min seems like a nice guy. Yep. Doug's is a nice guy. Yep. Doug's is super nice. He's a very nice guy. Doug's is up there with Trent. Yeah, Doug's is very nice. Uh, Glenny, Glenny's a nice guy. You better be nice if you're fat. You're yeah, nice. You have to be nice. Yeah, you're right. That's like the jolly fat guy. Yeah, you can't be an asshole. No, a mean fat guy is miserable. Not good. Miserable. <laughs> you like the uh, the ones for Vinny. Uh, can you discuss the Johnny football situation, why his show got discontinued, slash your issue with his agent? I'm not pausing because I'm, like, trying to hide. I'm trying. It's so long ago. But Johnny was just inconsistent showing up. I think he was going through a lot in his life. He was started playing football again. Um, the agent, I don't really recall what. I maybe recall there was something. I, but I, I, I'm Eric Burkhardt, I have no problem with him, so I don't. I don't recall whatever it was. It certainly wasn't a real thing because I have no issues with him at all. And discontinued because you played again, pretty much. Like you said, it, it was inconsistent when he was doing it. He wasn't spending it. Like I, I saw him in Miami a couple of weeks ago. He looked great. Talked to him for a while. Get along with him. Like I think he, if he did something now, he'd probably put a lot more effort into it. But he's very busy. He was still talking about playing football again. So you know, and like stories weren't coming through us. He, he was leaking thing. It, it, That's right. It just was not. Maybe that was what my. Yeah, thing I think was that about. was a big thing. Now that I now that I remember correctly, is there was like he's playing for the was like the Hamilton yeah. whatever team, and they like they were just giving store. But I don't know. I mean that that what a weird, as so long ago. Yeah. Um, okay, this one's from Scott. Looking back, what are your thoughts on the Dixie tour, and did it actually expand the brand like you thought it would? Some ancient questions. Yeah, I mean, I we're huge in the South. Uh, the, I think the Dixie Tour did very, very good for that. Um, I may be bigger than the South, though, personally, now that I am in the North because of... You look, think so? I'm fucking huge in the South. Yeah, no, I'm not denying that, but that's crazy to think about. It, I don't know. It, it'll be wild to ever actually get to the point where it's like... Like, wow. I mean, there, there's a couple things that happen. Uh, NASCAR. I mm -hmm. became very involved in NASCAR. Uh, and politics. So yeah. not, not, I'm not necessarily like the Trump guy that people think I am, but you know, those two things made me very big in the South. Yeah. It'll just always be hard for me, for me to imagine like you're bigger than anywhere besides Boston. You know, Ryan Whitney said he thinks I'm the most popular person in the world. And he was like serious right now. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like... <laughs> Dude, speaking of Whitney, it was great to have him here. Yeah, it was what like. Is there any type of deal that could be brokered to get him more in the fold? No. No? Nope. He just 
He likes his life. Likes his life, has yeah. a lot of money, yeah. happy with how he's doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, no, I've tried, but no. That'd be such a power move, dude. Like, I, like he's just so well, you, you, you don't want the headache. Yeah. I get it, but. I mean, he, he's involved as much as you'd want. He's great. He's an electric. He's a funny guy. He's, he's been barstool. You know, we'll fight, and he'll be like, I'd run through it. Like, we'll go back and forth. Like, even when we talked about him last time in the show on him not doing enough, I don't know if. You know, it's when you go, when the head coach gives you a little fucking tweak. Suddenly he's here. Two weeks later, see how that works, Eddie. Uh, but like on the sides, I, I you know I'd like kill for Barstool. I mean, he's been a, a Barstool guy day one, basically. Yeah, he's as close to a day one guy as you can have. So, yeah. uh, and, and throughout the years, it's always been like, hey, what can you do? But I get it. Guy's got millions in the bank. Loves to golf. Two young kids. We get out of him what we get out of him. Yeah, he's the best. I just, you know, he's very just see guy. what he could, what it could be. He could just be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, again, it's like. Yeah. Could we have like a competing barstool golf? Like we have two college basketball podcasts. We could just have him do his own golf thing. He, well, they <laughs> want to at one point, but. Well, keep your eyes out for that. Oh. Wow. Whitney said, if, yeah. So if you didn't hear what he said. Whitney was going to give the 50K to all the employees. Maybe Rico will do that. <laughs> yeah, that's a rumor. That's the rumors buying lunch. Um, okay. Uh, this one's from Brad. Can you ask Dave more about the agent process? How many people have one? Do you still hate them? Yeah, I despise agents. I'll never like agents. Um, I don't have an agent. I actually am beginning to wonder if I had an agent, like what? type of deals and shit i'd be getting because i am quite popular right now uh but i don't have an agent um how many people have agents i don't know uh what's well, like 70 content people or something like that how there's many? a decent amount who have agents yeah 25 uh, yeah i don't know agents yeah. I get it. It's a necessary evil to a degree. Um, you got to deal with them. You got to protect. Agents' job is to get their clients the most possible money. There's different types of agents. There's one in particular who's an absolute scumbag, um, and he knows who he is. Uh, and then there's others that I think mean well and do well. But, yeah, I haven't liked agents since the days of the Barstool tour. Why is that person a scumbag? Well, he is. He he's deceitful. Um, he doesn't negotiate in good faith. He was in cahoots with Soup Man. He's uh, he's uh, he's a snake. So no hard he feelings. Also, there. what? Because that's so if someone does hire an agent, like, are you fine with that? Yeah, yeah, no big mm-hmm. deal. Um, this one's more of a statement. Rather than a uh, a question, I guess, but it was resu- it's from a previous episode. This guy said, "Dylan, my dad was the coach of Tahanto in Central Mass. Big who- comeback! Oh, we came back on their asses. Yeah, who five Dave's- runs in the five runs, I believe, in the bottom of I forget how many play seven in that. I think it's like it, it was like senior little league Babe Ruth state championship down five us in the last inning. We came back and beat them." Yeah, this this is where we'll see what you think about it. My dad was the coach to Honto in Central Mass, who Dave Swampscott team killed in the finals. We watched a clip from the documentary, and he I wanted. I don't think we killed him. No, no, we came back way back. He said he wanted me to tell you that he did tell the pitcher to throw at you, since you guys were stealing bases up twelve to two. He also added that you're a great player, along with many of your teammates. Maybe you said like you you were you were always convinced that they were told that they were throwing. Oh, Tahanto is who we played high school state championship. Yeah. Then. No, they didn't throw it. Listen, they didn't. It was the second inning. They that that's not why they threw him. They threw at me because Eddie. If if you can have an out change the course of a baseball game, I did it. I hit a ball so hard it almost killed the right fielder. Like, I was, I bad second. It was my sophomore year. If that's who Tahanto is. And, like, I just hit an absolute fucking seed. It went through the right fielder. And from then, they were done. <laughs> well, there but you But they go. did throw at me. Yeah. I mean, he said that they did tell you, they did tell them to do but that. It wasn't 12 2. It was like the second inning. 
There and, and there's an old adage. If you don't like him stealing bases and scoring runs, then get him out. <laughs> I didn't know we played Tahanto. Uh, last one here. This one's from a text, uh, but it's also anonymous. Remember, please. Uh, where does Tommy winning surviving Barstool rank among all-time human accomplishments? Huge target on his back from day one as a Survivor super fan and still managed to get it done. Amazing. His tan looked great, too. Completely anonymous text. It was more that Tommy had pressure because he's addicted to the game, but from what I understand, no one else knew how to play the game. Or even watch the show, so they're morons. Yeah, White Sox David had no idea. He's like, I want to. Oh, White Sox Dave, so stupid. He's really just a stupid human. <laughs> Why you didn't like arguing with him on the stream yesterday? No, oh, he's good for content, but he's just like, he's just an idiot. I mean, we, but we knew that. That's why he was invited. He's he is the village idiot. <laughs> You think like he, I, if we had, that would be the ultimate sign of like Barstool power. If we could somehow get in the ear of like Miriam's dictionary, Webster Miriam, and like when you look up Village <laughs> Idiot, there's a picture of Dave with his hair mad down, the gum coming out of his mouth. Like that is it. Like, hey, Daddy, what's the Village Idiot? You open it. There's White Sox Dave. <laughs> do, do you think he thinks he's an idiot? I think he knows he's an idiot. I do. Do you think he knows he's an idiot? No. Oh, I think he kind of knows. Although an idiot wouldn't know, so maybe he doesn't. That's my that's yeah, my, yeah, yeah, my yeah, takeaway. Good point. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it. So what's going on? So Detroit, are we kind of yeah? We're some? wrapping up Detroit. We may be back in a little bit, but um, you know, we launched it. Play the I Casino here. One more hand here for the people. Yeah, let's see how we got. Uh, let's go. We're back in the I Casino. Blackjack, five thousand dollar hand. We'll go till I'm either down ten, or I don't know. We'll see what we got. <laughs> Chip selector, five k. Deal the cards, six for me. I got sixteen versus the picture. Uh, we're gonna hit that, and we busted. They had seventeen. Rebet. This would be the last hand. Another six. Uh, 15 for me versus four. We stand there at nine. They're at 15. They got 20. That was a quick 10 grand. Great show, guys. Online beats, man. They hurt more. Play that game, though, because yeah. you can win. Uh, if I'm losing, someone else is going to be winning. Yeah. They hurt more. Um, <laughs> they hurt more. So, all right. Yeah. It was a, it was a nice little run here in Detroit, Dave. Thanks. Uh, that's it for today, everybody. We'll catch you next week. 